Hello, all you super geniuses out there. Welcome to another video lecture from Super Genius 99. And we're dealing with linear equations today. So let's look at the problem. Find the equation of the line with the indicated slope and y intercept and write it in the form of ax plus by is equal to c. Okay? So they give us a slope of 2 and a y intercept of negative 3. So if they give us a slope in a y-intercept, then I would always start off by whitening it in the y uh, slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is, let me write that in another color. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And with y equals mx plus b, real quick, what is your m? m is your slope, right? What is your b? b is your y-intercept. So when you have your slope and your intercept, just fill it in. y equals my slope times x plus my y-intercept. In the case, this is negative 3, so we can just put minus 3. Okay. Are we done? No. Because it didn't tell us to write in this form, it told us to write in this form, ax plus by equals c. So basically, just uh, get everything else over and just make sure that a and b are whole number positive coefficients. Okay? So in this case, all we have to do is subtract 2x from both sides. You subtract 2x from both sides and you get what? y minus 2 x is equal to negative 3. Now we have it in this form. You might be sitting there saying, wait, wait, wait. But y doesn't have, we need to put our x first. He's like, yep, yep, you're, you're right, you're right. Put the x first, okay. Negative 2x plus y is equal to negative 3. Okay. So now we have it in ax plus by is equal to c. And there we go. And you might say, okay, well, how come y doesn't have a coefficient? Yes, y does have a coefficient. When you don't see anything, what is the understood coefficient of your y? 1. Let's look at another problem. Okay, here we have slope as negative 5. Y-intercept is 4. So when we have slope and intercept, we can put it in the slope-intercept 4. So y is equal to what is our slope? negative 5, yes, x, what is our y-intercept, 4, yes, okay, and then bring that x over, and how, what will we do to bring the x over, okay, I'll work this out a little bit, what do we need to do to bring the x over, yeah, add 5x to both sides, some of y'all like to see me work out the arithmetic, so add 5x to both sides. So if you add 5x to both sides, this cancels. And so you have 5x plus y is equal to 4. And there you go. Pretty simple, right? Let's do another one. Okay, here we have a slope of 1 third. We have a y-intercept of 7. Let's put it into our formula. Okay, so y equals the slope times x, 1 third x, plus the y-intercept, 7. Okay. So what I need to do, bring the x over. So how do we properly do that? Okay. Yes, yeah, subtract 1 third from both sides. 1 third x. Okay. And so that leaves you with a negative one third x plus y is equal to seven. And most times we like the x to be positive and a whole number. So how do I make x a positive and a whole number? You don't have to be a whole number, but I'm, I'm no, no, definitely has to be a whole number, but positive as well. I'm going to multiply everything by a negative 3. 
So watch what happens when I multiply everything by negative 3. Look, let's watch what happens. Negative 3 times negative 1 third. What is that? Positive 1. Uh, y times negative 3. And 7 times negative 3. Okay. So now we have it in this form. And that'll be it for that problem. Let's look at another one. Okay, here we got slope of negative 3 fourths, y-intercept of negative 12. Let's plug it in. y is equal to negative 3 fourths x plus negative 12. You can leave it like that. You can say minus 12, but okay. We'll do minus 12. Okay, so bring the x over, and we would properly do that by adding 3 fourths x to both sides. Okay. So that gives us 3 fourths x plus y equals negative 12. And then how do we get rid of the fraction here? I'm going to multiply everything by 4. So no fractions on the x or the y. So what happens when you multiply 4 times 3 fourths? Get a 3x. What happens when you multiply 4 times y? 4y. What happens when you multiply 4 times negative 12? And now you have it in the form of ax plus by equals c. Wonderful. Okay, this concludes this video lecture on linear equations and find the equations of putting the form of ax plus by equals c. Hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.